Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's webinar, Real-Time Daily Trading Ideas. Just like every day, I'm speaking to you from our office in Berlin. We will be speaking about trading ideas, strategies, market screenings, and we'll be answering your questions. As most of you probably know, we have to present the risk disclaimer. Most of you have probably seen it a couple of times, but it is important and you should be aware of it. Trading with financial instruments offered by Admiral Markets carries a high level of risk, which is not suitable for all investors due to its complex nature. Sorry, just a small technical issue on my side. <clears throat> Please make yourself familiar with these instruments by using a demo account if you are a starter. Please feel free to contact us if you need any assistance with that. Please also note that none of this is investment advice. The statements made in this webinar only represent the personal opinion of our traders. You can also find the whole risk disclaimer on our website. Here you can see the schedule for the week. Today it's Giancarlo's turn. And before I finish off with the introduction, I would like to invite everyone interested in trading to try us out and benefit from the best index and forex offerings with spreads of just 0.8 pips. Just like every Wednesday of the week, Giancarlo is going to be giving us precious insights into the markets. That's why I'm passing over the screen to him right now. Good morning, Giancarlo. Good morning, team. Good morning, traders. Uh, welcome to uh, Real Time Day Trading Idea. Today, uh, I would like to introduce uh, uh, something very important uh, for what happened in the stock market uh, uh, these days. First one, uh, as always, we are going to take a look at the uh, Forex calendar. Uh, today, we have uh, two very important news, uh, for uh, like an exception, uh, uh, we, we have uh, um, uh, ACB press conference, you know that uh, it is usually do, done at uh, on uh, first day, but uh, today, uh, but they decide to put this conference today. So uh, we have to take a look at uh, uh, a speech of Mario Draghi and in a special, the question of journalist. Uh, uh, to uh, close, uh, remember that uh, tonight at 20, uh, we will have the A form MC minutes. We need uh, uh, to understand uh, uh, the policy, the future from uh, the last uh, uh, the last meeting. Uh, we need to understand uh, which is the future of monetary policy or Federal Reserve. So uh, we have a very interesting day uh, to manage our trading. And uh, uh, now I would like to speak something about. Uh, this uh, uh, long uptrend uh, starts at the end of uh, December. Uh, we know that uh, uh, from the be beginning of this year, we are uh, uh, we are uh, um, witnessing a return near the the, the tops, and the, and the standard and poor, and, uh, poor 500 is very near to the new historical hikes, uh, which is the main elements that support this uh, uh, bullish trend. Uh, first one the return to the use of leverage, famous margin debt, after the sharp decline in the fourth quarter of uh, 2018. And, uh, and this coincided with the significant force in the American indexes in uh, February and October of last year. The second one, uh, the, uh, the, the buyback aptitude, which is the, uh, the buy of, um, of uh, their, um, their uh, share by the company, and uh, they, uh, the 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 annual rate of buyback back return uh, higher than 30 percent compared to the last year, and the first uh, the last one of course the lack of attractiveness of the returns offered by bond market. Uh, all these lem elements help to maintain the bullish aptitude, but at the same time uh, we cannot expect. As I listen from many analysts about an in, uh, unjustified uh, uh, bullish trend, uh, I don't understand what it means because uh, uh, we uh, uh, we uh, we know from the uh, down theory that the markets uh, move uh, in uh, synchronized or better in advance respect to uh, the economy, and at the moment 
we don't have any geoeconomic reason that should cause a strong fall or better new crisis or strong reversal in uh, Wall Street. Uh, I would like to remember that uh, some uh, some element because uh, uh, um, any uh, some details because it's important to understand what happened in the last uh, uh, in the last month. First one, the Federal Reserve changed their aptitude from uh, hawkish to dovish aptitude and start to speak wait and see. They suffer a strong, a strong uh, pressure from Trump. Uh, and uh, if someone read some uh, uh, news, Trump start restart to press uh, to press the Fed. Why? We would. I would like to remember that um, if you read some report of Federal Reserve, uh, they don't speak about any possible slowdown in the USA economy until the uh, the second uh, part of uh, the next year in uh, 2020 and remember that the next year we will have a uh, new uh, USA uh, election for president in USA so you have to understand that uh, uh, Trump uh, need uh, to have a good uh, a good uh, uptrend in the stock markets because he don't want to present for uh, this election with uh, a British market. So you can understand uh, uh, why the market uh, remain bullish because uh, uh, the market uh, advanced the possibility uh, of a return of uh, uh, a new uh, monetary policy Ben Bernanke style. Uh, it means the Fed could start to cut the rate uh, from next meeting and you can understand that we have a like an enormous quantity of liquidity that help to uh, uh, give the market a vertical acceleration so you can understand now what happened in the market and of course uh, speaking about this week it's logical to expect some uh, correction in the market because normally the easter time it's a typical time uh, to uh, have some correction in the market but remember that uh, by statistical uh, studies the four months of year it's one of the best for uh, usa indexes so uh, um, to finish this introduction remember that a potential recession is see on this second quarter of 2020. And uh, my idea is, is, is this, we don't have any possibility of a reversal in the market until we don't uh, go up the percent of 20. If the market don't fall more of 20%, it's difficult to have a reversal and in the same time remember that uh, uh, for now if you want to see a, a possibility of uh, a reversal we need uh, first one some sell off with the long daily candle bearish long day candle like the uh, the last uh, year in the february and october and we need more days of uh, uh, force to understand what uh, what I'm uh, speaking, let me tell you, uh, show you the uh, the chart of Standard & Poor. If you see uh, the last part of uptrend, but it in general, uh, if we take a, a daily chart, you can appraise it how this uh, bullish uptrend present something very interesting. We are speaking about increasing minimum. If you see at every correction, the market respect the increasing the la, the the last increasing minimum. So you can see how the market remain with great bullish amplitude. If you don't see something like this for various days, it's in, with, with high volatility. Of course, you never you never you never think on reversal you have to think that every pullback it's a, a great possibility of a, a new buy entry until we don't have any information and the market don't show a, uh, this uh, volunteer we have to maintain the bullish aptitude so now let we uh, start with uh, with the standard and poor and we're going to speak in uh, h4 chart because uh, uh, we have to remember that it's friday we will start uh, the quarterly earnings season 
in the USA company uh, that expected uh, the worst of the last three years. For this, we have some uh, uh, nervousness in the markets, and you can appraise it how the uh, the, the, the yesterday fall was very small, and uh, this morning uh, Standard Poor recovered the, the, the middle of this fall. What we have to do now is understand that the last uh, uh, maximum uh, is a very important zone because we are very near to break uh, the uh, 2,100 level, and uh, uh, we need to break this level to start uh, a new uh, strong uptrend. Remember that uh, we need just 40 points at least to have new historical hikes in the standard pool. So it's logical that market uh, can uh, respect uh, some uh, week of choppiness. But at the same time, uh, for remember that for now, it's difficult to think uh, a short uh, trend, at least weekly short trend, until the price don't break at least this level and of course this what do I, what do I well, would like to have to do we know that we have a monday gap to close but remember that gap uh, could uh, be closed in weeks or month and uh, it's logical to think that standard report would like to close this monday gap up of the first of april but of course uh, we need time so for now, uh, uh, reading the smart money zone, uh, I uh, have a, a good zone here and here, and I would like to see at least a break of this level today or the next day to have a new possibility of uptrend and try some buy opportunity. But at the same time, if I see a fall of the last minimums for today, and in general, if I uh, uh, if I see today or tomorrow a break of uh, 2,000, 865, I uh, can try some uh, short entry, but always in a sort of correction. Uh, we will have some uh, better answer uh, from next week with uh, some result from, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, 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 earning season, but at the same time, we don't have any stronger uh, problem that could uh, uh, interrupt this uh, uh, great uh, uptrend. Remember that uh, in case the price uh, uh, go this week going below this level, we have a great probability to close this gap. In any event, we can have some uh, reversal uh, in uh, weekly basis only if the price going below this level until the price remain up the uh, 2789 remember that uh, uh, we maintain the bullish aptitude in the same time uh, we continue with the uh, down jones and nasdaq uh, Dow jones uh, remain uh, uh, very choppy uh, we have touched uh, our uh, very um, vital zone, the 26,326. We have a, a first uh, uh, try to break this level, and if price uh, uh, do the second break and remain up this level, we confirm the volunteer to uh, do new uh, new hikes and new historical hikes. You can appraise it. Uh, we we need uh, very few points. We are speaking about 500 points to uh, to to have a new hike, so it's normal here to have this uh, this situation. We have some problem with uh, um, some uh, earning some company for any season, season in the Dow Jones, but in the same time uh, the the um, the range is very uh, complicated, and uh, until the price remain uh, up uh, 25,544 is very difficult to have a strong uh, British acceleration. So it's logical to think some correction from this point and we can try uh, this afternoon if the price permit to touch some of this level but at the same time remember that we have a strong uh, smart money presence and it's very difficult to manage the price into this uh, choppiness uh, uh, zone. I would like to remember that you can use this level like a reversal point and we can uh, they can offer some uh, good opportunity to take some points during the day. At the same time, Nasdaq is uh, the, the king of USA market. 
as you can appraise it, uh, we uh, we need just a few points to have new historical hikes. Our target in uh, 7,573 was done, and now uh, we have ambitious. The next ambitious target is to touch the uh, 663 and have a great break and new hikes. Uh, it's logical to think that it's possible to have a correction. So it's in this moment, in this situation. So we need a, a little more volatility to understand the really uh, intention of NASDAQ. In any event, this uh, zone between 341 and uh, 270 uh, maintain the bullish aptitude of uh, NASDAQ. If we have a strong uh, break to, uh, this afternoon of uh, this level, it's logical to uh, think to have some uh, uh, correction. And in this case, we can speak at least a 100 point of uh, uh, correction. But in any event, if, if uh, at least you trade this intraday or scalping, in the general, uh, uh, in the general trend, uh, we maintain the bullish aptitude. I will start to have some uh, worries only if the price going below this level and in general it's possible to break the Monday gap up between 411 and 391. So now I would like to go directly to DAX because uh, uh, I would like to speak um, about the situation DAX uh, related to uh, ACB press conference of uh, this afternoon. Uh, first one I would like to remember after we'll take a look at five minutes chart at our uh, buy uh, and I buy idea uh, of the last webinar give us uh, good points. I try to maintain some days because I would like to arrive here at the last the the the, la the target sorry of uh, eleven thousand nine hundred nineteen. Uh, was done. If you want to check about this idea, you can have in the uh, YouTube uh, uh, page of Ardimar Markets UK uh, the registration of the last uh, Wednesday webinar. In the same time, now it's logical to think at strong correction. We know that we have a great problem with unemployment and some macroeconomic data. And, and at the same time, uh, the ESB press conference uh, uh, could be show just uh, uh, the confirm of some point. We are speaking about uh, 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 about uh, the confirmation of LTRO new uh, stimulus, and at the same time to maintain. Uh, the, uh, the 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 rates at uh, uh, zero. In any event, I uh, would like uh, it, it will be very interesting to uh, listen the, uh, the the words of Mario Draghi because uh, the European Central Bank continues to say uh, beautiful words. You no, know? some beautiful words. For example, we will uh, say we we will be always present. So we will do something. If uh, the markets need, if the European economy need, okay. But we have uh, we have enormous uh, we have a great problem, and um, the question is uh, when uh, this state sort of state of necessity will be recognized by ACB. So uh, we have to understand that. Uh, as I explained to you in the last webinar, the, uh, the central bank uh, use uh, this uh, new liquidity to maintain the calm in the market and maintain uh, the uptrend because uh, with this liquidity they can maintain a sort of equilibrium. But uh, really, for a uh, really economy, nothing uh, comes. And this is the, the truth of this situation. So now, uh, after this great uptrend of uh, DAX, uh, we have touched a very, very important zone uh, located in uh, uh, 12,000 level. And in this level, we, uh, we have uh, a great uh, uh, correction. So we have started with 100 point. Uh, we have a great possibility that if the price maintain below uh, the smart money zone, we can arrive in the next uh, days and the next week in the first one in this very, very important support. And if we break the level, the next target will be uh, the 760 uh, 50 zone. This could be uh, the uh, the target of this correction. Remember that for now, 
I uh, don't suggest any multi-day buy until the price don't break at least this level because uh, or, uh, we are start to do uh, we, now we are starting uh, to see a uh, maximum decreasing and it's uh, we know that DAX uh, is famous for his great uh, uh, correction reversal uh, the, and we have to maintain the uh, the the short term uh, trend that is bearish so until we don't have any information about the possibility of new uptrend we have to maintain uh, the focus of the, on the possibility that the tax could lose for this point uh, at least 200 300 pips but what we have to do uh, is to understand that it's possible to close this gap but in the same time uh, DAX could do this in just in one day we know that DAX is famous for uh, uh, his high volatility so what we have to do this uh, to this week is to focus on this zone because if the price remain here it's difficult um, to do a short but if the price break uh, the, leap, the the minimum of today, uh, we have a serious possibility to have a sell-off, uh, daily sell-off, uh, just to say a stronger bearish acceleration of uh, 80, 60 points in a few hours. In the 15-minute charts, uh, just to have, uh, just to see the possibility to have uh, uh, some uh, buy and the sell idea i would like to remember that it's very difficult this week to uh, work on dax because the he respect a long choppy phase uh, uh with uh, long kernel of a few seconds and another choppy phase so it's very difficult uh to scalp the dax uh, and it's um, uh, and I advise uh, at least to do some intraday position of a free four hours. So today what we have to do is to take a look uh, at uh, this uh, strong uh, resistance. We need a break of this resistance to have some buy opportunity, but I would like to put this buy opportunity at least up this level with of course uh, a stop of uh, uh, at least 30 point. And I would like uh, uh, and more and I would like to uh, to reach this target first time but uh, really it's possible to arrive in, in, in this zone between 955 and 970 I mm, I have to say that it's very difficult to the to have uh, this long uh, uh, position today it depends on Mario Draghi it depends of uh, of uh, volatility we have a low presence of, of volume so it's difficult but in any event uh, if you have a see a strong breakout is level in scalping, you can have uh, a possibility of 20 uh, 25 point uh, in a reasonable time of 30 minutes or just an hour. But I would like to have a break of this level to have more uh, uh, confirmation of uh, by opportunity and try to maintain at least uh, two days. For short side, uh, the minimum of today is very very important. And remember that below this level we can start a strong downtrend. So uh, for today I suggest to try something below the last uh, minimum. For example, below this level could be useful. Of course, stop uh, 30, 40 point. We are speaking about intraday position, and uh, uh, we try to arrive first one here, and in extension uh, uh, we would like to arrive. Sorry. We would like to arrive uh, at uh, this level. Uh, I suggest this position be um, just a little more gray uh, long because uh, the volatility is very low, so it's difficult to have a good scalping. And in any event, remember these two level, the 1839 for short side for this week, and for long side at least a red on below. 931 and of course 970. Let me speak rapidly about uh, some uh, pair forex pair. We start with uh, with the euro dollar because today we have ACB press conference and I would like to remember that uh, uh, today we can have some uh, we, we we hope to have uh, uh, some uh, possibility of uh, uh, um, of uh, volatility just a moment i would like to answer and uh, a question 
uh, they, uh, someone asked me, what is the tool of, at right of charge for place in position? Uh, this is a, a, an exclusive uh, 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 instrument of Alminal Markets. There is Alminal Mini Terminal. You can uh, try this, um, all these instruments uh, going in the admiralmarkets.com or you can ask at uh, in the chat of uh, web page. So uh, we continue with uh, um, with our um, analysis. Uh, I would just five minutes more and finish. Remember that uh, um, euro dollar maintain uh, uh, the possibility uh, to go up uh, it depends on what uh, mario draghi mr mario draghi say today if we maintain uh, the level of one point twelve one point twelve forty we can maintain the bullish up to for today and in case we have a break of this zone we can drive to reach uh, uh, this level during the day or tomorrow in any event uh, we uh, remember i have spoken the last webinar about uh, uh, a good a new uh, downtrend if the price break 1.1181 we uh, the the price respect perfectly our zone and until the price remain up this level is very difficult to do some short in any way remember that uh, some resistance is located here here and if you are still a sort of a spike or a climax you can try some uh, uh, short entry in the same time uh, remember that the pound uh, it remain with a lot of noise and choppiness and the price remain in the zone of 1.13 but they don't break uh, this very very important level um, the market uh, uh, wait some news about uh, uh, the U uh, european euro up to for possibility to do an extension or Brexit, some, someone uh, speak about one year more. But in any event, remember that if the uh, European Union rejected the extension asked from Theresa May, we can have a new sell-off in the pound. In, remember that short is advices only if the price has present a strong break of 1.13. Until this moment, all this could be a great uh, accumulation. And this price going up at first one, uh, 1.3131 and after 1.13, uh, 31.72 from here we start uh, a good uptrend. In an event, remember that only a break of this level will permit us to speak about a new uptrend. I would like uh, uh, to finish with oil, oil and gold and uh, check rapidly the euro stock. Remember that the trend remains strong bullish and until the price don't lose these levels in the 3,314 and 3,271.79, the, bull, the trend remain bullish. But we can expect some correction under, until this level. And in case we lose this level of uh, 3,319, we can have some correction. Um, speaking about the oil, we have reached the second target indicated the last webinar in 74.22 now it's logical to think something about uh, um, that possibility that some investor could uh, take some gain and uh, i would like to remember that uh, uh, all depend uh, uh, the, the the last part of rally was driven by tightening supply and what is about a possibly supply disruption to the military conflict in libya at the same time uh, we are a in a very important uh, level, you see, for example, uh, Fibonacci retracement, we can appraise it. That, uh, sorry for the color, we have in the 61.8 uh, of uh, uh, Fibonacci, the level of Fibonacci. Just, uh, I would like to change the, the color uh, because we use very bad color. Uh, we can use uh, uh, this, okay. We can see that is a vital point that confirm we, we have a confirmation that possibility of new uptrend. My idea is that if the price remain in the zone of $64, we can try to reach a, a, a very ambitious target in the very important zone in uh, 60, uh, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60.60 and uh, try to reach uh, the, this target until the price remain up 
the $62, we remain with bullish aptitude and we need to, uh, every pullback we can use for uh, new buy entry. Only a break of $60, of course, this soon uh, we can offer a, a strong uh, po uh, possibility of new uh, short acceleration. Until this moment, I strongly suggest to maintain the bullish aptitude and wait uh, um, um, at least two dollar more for uh, uh, this week. I would like to uh, finish with uh, uh, gold and uh, um, just to tell you uh, some detail. The weaker dollar helped to this last uh, this short uh, uptrend. But remember that in the same time, the price of gold is manipulated by central bank. China uh, up uh, the, his reserve of 0.6%. So we have some elements that help to maintain the bullish up of gold. And probably if we remain up uh, this level, we will continue to think uh, in the uh, buy sense. So we can have a new uptrend. What we have to do this week is remember that if the price going up 1,310, we have a serious op uh, opportunity to have a new uh, uptrend with the first target in this level. Remember that this level is very important. And in case the price going up 1,324, we can start a new attack to last the maximum. My idea is possible to have uh, uh, new hikes in the gold in the next weeks. All depend of uh, of, uh, what, um, of manipulation and uh, what they what the central bank do. But it's very possible that we arrive at this level of 1,366 in the next weeks. Of course, so we we analyze the situation every Wednesday here in a real time day trading idea. And in the same time, remain that the price uh, going below uh, 1,299, we have uh, uh, some short opportunity, but take care because uh, 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 we you can uh, understand that we are assisting sort of accumulation phases and we if we don't have a break of the last minimum here it's very difficult to have a, a, a great short opportunity i have a finish for today i would like uh, to decide for you a great week of training and of course see you next wednesday bye bye Thank you very much, Giancarlo. Thanks for the comprehensive analysis. Thanks to the audience for listening. I'm sure you enjoyed today's webinar. You can review it anytime on YouTube, as you know. And um, if you have any further questions, additionally, you can just give us a call. Just ask general questions. Exactly. I wish you all a good day and a good week ahead. Thank you very much. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, Giancarlo.